July 15, 2009, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Here we are. <laughs> Wow. I like this a lot. Hey, it's Lynn Saxberg reporting for the Ottawa Citizen. Um, I'm not backstage at Blues Fest. I'm at the Live Lounge with a very special guest. It's Steve from the guitar player from the band Our Lady Peace. Hey, Steve. Hello. How's it going? Awesome. Welcome to Blues Fest uh, or the Live Lounge in Ottawa. You guys have a new record out. And um, from what I understand, the band almost broke up after the last album. So I would like to know um, what changed? How did you get rekindle the fire to make this awesome album? Well, uh, our last record was very difficult to make. Uh, there were a lot of things going on in the band internally, uh, the ways we were we were struggling internally. Uh, struggling with the music we were trying to make, uh, struggling with the people we were making the record with. Um, it was just a lot of turmoil. We, we weren't sure, we had a lot of, we had a, something we were trying to accomplish, but we couldn't figure out how to get it, how to accomplish that. So, a lot of turmoil, and the record took a long time to make. We recorded way too many songs, and, um, so after that, after touring for that record, we sort of took about a year off and just kind of got away from each other. Uh, all of us have things we do outside the band, so we kind of took some time to, you know, to submerge into those things a little bit more. And then we kind of just, uh, everyone just felt, you know, the itch, like, hey, you know, we're a great band, we all love each other, let's, let's, let's like, get back on this. And we, uh, it was kind of cool we, the way we, we went about writing this record, uh, myself and our bass player and drummer, Jeremy and Duncan, would uh, we'd get together on our own in Toronto and come up with musical things we'd like, and then we'd go to our singer Rain's house and work with him. And as Rain has a studio in his house, an amazing studio, so we'd get together for like about a week at a time, and we started writing there, and then we record the ideas just to listen back to them. And he's got great gear and he has a studio, so we started loving the way it sounded when we played it back, and we're like, well, why do we need to go get a producer and all that, like? You know, we've been around guy. We've been around great producers that you know. We've worked with great producers. We've got to learn some tricks from them, you know, and some great things from them. Why don't we uh, just try doing it like this on our own? And we did. And um, that wasn't the only reason why we had a great time making this record, uh, but it, it was something that was uh, very liberating and very very cool. It, it was just a great. It wasn't easy making the record. I don't think anything uh, that's worth it ever is, but. Uh, just the way everyone in the band was getting along, and it just sort of grew up and, and blossomed. You know, we definitely were in a rough part. We started working again, and now we're getting along in a way that uh, we haven't before. Yeah. Things are good. And is that coming through on stage too? Definitely, yeah. The way we're playing live right now, there's a connection with us during the live show that we I don't I don't feel like we've ever had. Yeah, it's right now the live show is uh, I don't know. Last time our last tour. There were things that we were struggling with every night, and there were some bad vibes here and there. This time around, the vibe is so good, I can't wait to get on stage every night. And one more thing, what do you think of the festival experience, playing outdoors in front of thousands and thousands of people? It's awesome. It's a very different experience from playing in a theater or a club. But to me, honestly, like one is not better than the other. Both are very different experiences, but playing these kind of festivals, to me, you know, I grew up reading about and listening to all the artists in like the late 60s and the 70s and, you know, Neil, Ye Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, the band, uh, Hendrix, all these people, and you always read about these festivals, and when we play a festival like Blues Fest and there's a lot of people and they're into it, to me it evokes that that spirit that was around back then and it's in a new in a new way now but just that spirit of everybody hanging out and doing nothing but enjoying music that's it's a pretty cool thing